one way to create a better world is to flip the current model of investment. What does it mean in the broader sense? Instead of people trying to reach out to the investors, it should be the investors who should try to reach out to people. Right now at this moment, there are millions all around the world who have groundbreaking ideas to transform the world, but they will never be able to back the funding. And this is the unfortunate truth. So we are actually living in strange times when on one hand, we continue to hear about unicorns, new unicorns rising up almost every day. And so many fascinating startups that are securing Series B funding, Series C funding, Series D and like that. While on the other hand, we continue to hear about millions who have lost their jobs, millions who feel unwanted. And the gap between the rich and the poor continues to widen up. Now, why this gap? This is, this is probably a, a question we all must think about. According to me, and I could be wrong, the solutions to the most common problems of the world uh, has to come from those people who are actually facing those problems on the ground. Only if you have understood the pain and the gravity of the, you know, of the problem experientially, if any problem hurts you experientially, you are in the best position to, to propose a solution. But currently, what we are seeing is that the solution is being proposed by people who are, I will not say cut off from the reality, but who are, who have never experientially felt those problems on the ground. Yes, I'm saying that the, uh, the new crop of the startup founders, most of them are, are from the elites. I mean, a, how many times have you heard about someone from a slum bagging the funding? for any groundbreaking ideas. I know of people uh, because I teach in slums and I know of uh, many people who have fascinating startup ideas, but they will never be able to get the funding. So this is why I'm seeing the investor community and the venture community, they have to realize the enormous power they have to transform the world. They really have the resources to create the better world. And they should now uh, reach out to the people across every strat of the society. So if the mountain won't come to Muhammad, Muhammad has to go to the mountain. If investors shed their classical ego of getting fancy pitches and sales and marketing presentations uh, and they start tapping the real gems and the diamonds of, of the society, that will really create a difference. So currently, I'm not saying that this entire process is a bubble. Of course, a lot of fascinating startups uh, have come. But still, most of these startup founders, they are Ivy League graduates or Ivy League dropouts, or they have a really good background. They have a protected umbrella of a, of a good resume and good background. Nothing against them. They are the proven champions of society. But still, there is this unequal participation when it comes to uh, this uh, when it comes to people from from the other side of society, people who don't know how to present themselves, people who don't know how to speak good English, people who don't know how to create fancy PowerPoint presentations, who don't know how to how to sell a, a comb to a bald guy and how to sell an eyes to a Eskimo. So in the current model, there is too much of focus on the external sophistication than the real cracks of the issue. And this is why I'm saying. And the real solutions to the real problems of society will come from those people who have faced those problems on the ground, but they are not being heard. And those these solutions are being proposed by people who have never experientially faced the problems. Not that they are lacking in intent. Intent is, is their intent is, is is great, but unless we give these people the deprived people. Who, who do not have a good background, who do not have uh, a good presentation skills, which the investors want, unless we give them equal participation, we are going to see this unequal world anyway. So as far as I can see it, and I could be wrong as I'm saying, one way to create a better world will really be when we flip this model and when investors, uh, uh, they try to reach out to people 
and give a trust and confidence to an average person on the street that hey, if you have a groundbreaking idea to transform the world, to create a better world, I'm here to back you up. Not just me, the entire venture community is there to back you up. Come on in. So when we see that kind of approach from investors and the venture community in future, we will really see real difference on the ground.